Time travel. Everyone knows what it is. Commonly stars in sci-fi movies, along with paradoxes, a multiverse, aliens. But this is all science fiction. The question is, could time travel actually be possible? To explain this, I'm going to start with the speed of light. Light travels at just one speed, a constant finite speed of 299,792,458 meters per second. To put that differently, something traveling at the speed of light could move around the Earth approximately 7.5 times in just one second. That's fast. In fact, light is the fastest thing in the entire universe. Nothing, and I stress this, nothing can move faster than light. Now, you might be thinking, what has light got to do with time? The answer is a lot. Albert Einstein came up with a very famous theory called the theory of relativity, which one of its most interesting findings is time dilation, which states that, brace yourself, time will pass slower for someone traveling near the speed of light relative to someone standing still. You may have no idea what I'm on about, so let's simplify it. Let's imagine that I fire, say, my little brother into space in a rocket, and he flies around in outer space at nearly the speed of light for three years, according to his watch. Now, here's the weird bit. He would experience time slower because of his speed. For him, it would be three years, but for the rest of us back on Earth, 60 years would have passed. He would arrive back on Earth in 2083, having aged only three years. Now, tell me that's not time travel. I mean, he'd be my age, but I'd be 74. He could squabble with my grandchildren instead of me. So, with the right technology, maybe we could travel to the future. But what about the past? To travel backwards in time, we would have to move faster than the speed of light, which is, of course, impossible. However, there are other theories. If we could somehow fold the very fabric of space and time so that our futures align with our pasts, many scientists also believe that this is impossible. But do you want to know the truth? Nobody knows. And we're not going to know until someone does it. So what do you think? Could we be traveling in time within the century? Excellent. Posing some big questions for us there, Amelia. Uh, but you're going to get some big questions posed to you as well. And we're going to go over to Jo, first of all. Thank you very much. Time travel is a topic I'm fascinated by. I've left my own TARDIS. Um, but what made you pick this topic? So I watched a sci-fi film called Interstellar, which is it's a brilliant film. I recommend it. Um, it's about time dilation, but in relation to gravity and black holes, um, so I was going to focus more on black holes, but then that kind of shifted to time travel, and yeah, I and I ended up doing this, and yeah, it was really interesting. Interesting film, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, so kicked off an interesting film. Um, judges, any other questions? Yes. Um, time travel, a very complex topic to break down mm -hmm. for an audience. Um, uh, how did you practice? I practiced a lot. <laughs> So I got myself in my front room, our front room. I got a timer. I did it again and again and again and timed myself each time. I got my dad in to have like a live audience. Um, I gave him a chair to stop him pacing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I performed it to my family, my brother. This is the first time my brother, who is over there, has heard it the whole way through. So I'm going to be hearing about that later. Um, my friends have heard it multiple times. Anyone who will listen um, has heard it multiple times, but yeah. Okay, good job. Brilliant. Amelia, well, we're delighted to have heard it today. Let's give another massive round of applause for Amelia. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.